it's March, which means it is Image Skincare Reveal Time. These are the new products coming out in the Image Skincare line. If you are new to Image, Image is cosmetically elegant in a lot of the formulations, but it's still clinical strength approved by a dermatologist and esthetician team. The reveal box is yellow, which tells us prevention. reformulate sunscreens somebody really loves the last rendition more it always makes me a little bit skeptical of what the new brand is going to be because we're so stuck in the old ways and every sunscreen works really quite well so let's see what we've got our SPFs in the reveal box range from 30 to 75 your skin will process SPFs of 30 the same way they will as 75 so we have Hydrating Pure Mineral, Ultra Defense Moisturizer in SPF 50, Sheer Matte Moisturizer SPF 30, Pure Mineral Tinted Moisturizer, and then we have a brand newbie, 75 SPF Smart Blend Mineral. So this is Advanced Smart Blend Mineral Moisturizer. And I will start with the physical blocks that only contain zinc or titanium dioxide, so they reflect the sun, they don't absorb it. Uh, the physical blocks, which do not contain any chemical sunscreen component. Hydrating zinc oxide, and then we also have two that have zinc and titanium dioxide, and because titanium dioxide is so chalky, it's like a white powder, these two are tinted, which is quite fun. So this is great for deeper skin tones too, because sometimes if you have deeper skin tone, you have a beautiful pigment to your skin, you're going to show up chalky and we do not want that. I have never had any issue with the mattifying moisturizers by image, so that has a chemical and a physical component to it, showing up chalky. So I always use the matte moisturizer on anybody with a deeper skin tone and we do not have any sort of white cast on the skin. The first one I'm going to dive into is the one that will replace the sunscreen moisturizer that I use every day. So this is going to cut out a whole step because it is sunscreen and moisturizer. So this is your moisturizer, happens to have an SPF. It looks normally like what the hydrating SPF does. And it doesn't really smell like anything. Like it, does, it barely has a sunscreen smell for the pure mineral hydrating. And it's really light. Oh, so that's great. Some hydration in there. So I like this one. I really like the rendition two times ago. It smelled really good. Um, and it was my favorite scent. Everything from Image doesn't have artificial fragrance too. So if you are picking up a certain scent in an Image product, that's what the ingredient list is, which is really nice. So this is a pretty pure straight to the point mineral sunscreen which we really like and this is water resistant up to 80 minutes so this is something that I don't believe that they have tested or put on the bottles of the other sunscreen so this tells you if you are out in the sun or the pool or something reapply every 80 minutes my tinted beauties are the tinted SPF 30 and the tinted SPF 75 75 again might be a little unnecessary uh, but it's cool and it's tinted so I think that that is a really neat component. The SPF 75 has a little bit of a higher content of zinc and titanium dioxide. Again both physical blocks we are reflecting the sun so I really would love to compare what these pigments look like. There's our 30, there's our 75 and again this 75 is the new product and then you can see I think that the tints are quite similar. So these will look good on you if you have a fairer skin tone but you're on the neutral realm. 
and you all know by now I'm warm so I cast a little bit yellow so these will show up either a little too tan on me or I'll be looking a little bit orange but you know they really do a good job. 30 pure mineral really again it doesn't smell like anything there's really nothing there so probably nothing to bother you if you are sensitive to smells but really like image once it sinks into the skin you're not going to be smelling like your vital seat all day so you put it on the skin it's not an artificial fragrance it's an ingredient it sinks in and then the SPF 75 smells a little bit more like sunscreen here are the other two reformulations the sheer matte moisture and the mattifying moisturizer is everybody's favorite the octanoxate is the thing that will bleach coral reefs as a chemical sunscreen so we definitely wanted to get that out of the environment octisalate which is in the new formulations doesn't have any environmental implications so as soon as image gets any research about just how the human body works in illness or the environment they are changing it up so i really like that they are forward and they're making the changes here's the new mattifying moisturizer oh it has a slight tint to it interesting so matte moisturizer again in any of the recent incarnations has never appeared chalky on anybody i've used it on who has deeper skin tones i love using it on people with deeper skin tones because it does not cast chalky so i don't know why they thought they needed to tint it Oh, and that smells like sunscreen. So yeah, this is like, it's a little bit more tropical than it used to be. About two times ago when it was the 32 before they took out that SPF that isn't great for the environment, it smelled like a cherry. So we loved that one. Um, we just didn't love it for coral reefs, so we got rid of it. And then our last one is the sunscreen reformulation of the strongest one that we used to have. So now we have that tinted 75. And then this is Ultra Defense Moisturizer, SPF 50. no tint interesting slightly slightly like sunscreen image sunscreens have always been that two-in-one product where you get your moisturizer and then you also get your sunscreen one of the cool things about them is they do have an antioxidant ingredient list on them and they have fun things like hydrolyzed pea protein which helps to strengthen the barriers of the skin so it's a great moisturizer I am definitely more interested when Image comes out with new products for their launches, but this is an interesting way to update a product they just updated. So I can't wait to try it though, in all honesty, and give it a shot.